Hi everybody, welcome to BenderFitness.com. My name is Jesse, and I'm going to be leading you through a very high cardio intensive full body workout. Today is broken down into three sections. We're going to focus, we're kind of working bottom up today because we're going to work your bottom and work our way up. It's going to be all glutes, all abs, and all arms. Hopefully yours look a wee bit bigger and better than that. So, uh, how I've broken this one down is I am doing 30, I'm doing 15 rounds of 30 seconds of cardio. My cardio of choice is I always go to high knees. I am a runner, that's just a bit natural for me. And 50 seconds of high repetitions, as many repetitions as you can get in of each exercise. So it'll go 30, 50, 30, 50. If you joined us before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So today is cross training day before a long run tomorrow. So I'm really going to try and pace myself through this. Uh, there's a lot of variations to all, almost all these exercises. I'll try to remember them and show you them as we go through them, just in case you have any issues with your back or your knees for whatever reason, or your pounding is too hard. The cardio in between, that's up to you. You can do high knees, you can do jumping jacks, you can do mountain climbers, although those are a part of this. I don't want to mountain climber you to death. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to start off with, I think it starts off with 30 seconds of cardio. So let's rock. Right into it. I'm going to say this many, many times throughout the workout. Remember to breathe. It's the easiest thing to forget when you're working hard. You try real hard, you push real hard, and you forget to breathe. You do high knees, try to get those knees at least up to your waist, and keep moving your arms. Sometimes people do this, sometimes people do that. First exercise, we're doing a squat jumps. I'm going to step to the side, show you. I'm going to squat back, keep all the weight in your heels, toes lifted up, and I'm going to rock it up towards the ceiling. You don't have to do this with your arms. It's more of a, it's more of a mental thing for me. I'm slinging myself up like Mario in a brick. Now when I land, I try my best to land with a slight bend in my knees. Never stiff legs. That will jar your back, hurt your knees, hurt your back very bad. If you hear any coos or ahs, right in the cardio. If you hear any coos, that's because a beautiful son of Maverick is having himself a nice nap right next to us. Better Fitness is a family friendly site. It'll be cool. Pictures or videos of you working out with your kids. We love them. Those are the best. We'd like to see more of them, so if you could send them to us. Next, we're going to do single leg bridges. I'm going to start talking fast and get through this. There's two variations to this. Flat on the ground, one foot plants. Again, all the weight in the heel. I'm going to raise my butt up. I'm going to raise my leg, I'm going to drop my butt towards the ground, don't let it set down, stop it just before the ground, just before there, and then push right back up. <sighs> Keeping all the weight there, I feel it so much all through my hamstrings and my glutes. Now, the advanced version is going to install the surface that won't move on you. I put it up on the mat, <sighs> get that standing foot. Plant it on that surface, raise up, and do the same thing, elevated. Woo! I talked a lot through that one, sorry. Right into your cardio. Remember to breathe. much through that first one, I'm going straight to the advanced version. Lift 
lift up and down. You want to be just far enough away that you have a good bend in that leg and your butt isn't up against whatever your foot is on. All the movement should be in your waist, in your hips, pulling yourself up. I really feel this one in my hamstrings, I'm scooching too much. Woo, cardio, quick transitions, always quick. That's the name of the game with these high intensity workouts, these interval workouts, you want to transition really quickly from thing to thing to thing. Next up, we're going to be doing lunge hops. I'll show you the variation first and then the more advanced version. Keep pushing through that cardio. Great job. Alright, I'm going to turn to the side here. We're doing all one side, then the other. The variation for this, you step back into a lunge, never let your knee hit the ground. Step back just far enough that you feel that stretch down through your legs. Never let this knee go out over your toes. Straight down, step back up, squeeze your glutes. Back, up and squeeze. Now, the more advanced version is go into that lunge, and we're just gonna hop. Straight up and down, you don't have to hop to the ceiling like you're dunking a basketball. It is just a slight hop and down. Oh, this keeps that your weight and that pressure all through those quads. Oh, you'll feel it in both legs. Oh man, I talk too much. Cardio, let's go. Whatever you're doing for cardio, keep doing it. High knees, walking, stepping high knees, mountain climbers, whatever you're doing, keep it up. And breathe. Now, I stepped forward, I stepped back with the right leg, so I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to keep my right leg forward this time, make that one burn real good. Remember, the variation, you're stepping back, holding it for a moment, bringing it back up, and squeeze back down in. You don't have to do this goofy motion with your hands. Again, it's just another mental thing for me. Makes me feel more like a cyborg or a robot working out through it. Ooh, less than 10 seconds. Let's go, keep it up. Only a few more. All right, cardio. Good news, everyone. We're done with the lower half portion of this. Now we're gonna move up and we're gonna go core heavy in this next set of five moves. So get those abs ready. We're working the whole shebang. We're gonna get down plank position first. Alright, I'm going to go to this side here a little bit for you. Keep my feet off the mat, you'll see why. I'm going up into a plank position. Don't let your back droop. Don't let your back arch too much. What I'm going to do is think of an accordion. I'm going to crunch and come up. Crunch and come up left and right. Curling myself up, not letting myself go all the way to the ground. Holding myself up. This is also a good warm up for our arms. Always coming back to that plank position in between each crutch. So curling up, straight. Curling up towards those knees, straight. I like to look back at my feet with each one. Quick transition, get into that cardio. We're going to be getting back down on the mat, laying on one side for the next exercise. Until then, breathe and keep moving.
two, one, transition. Straight down to the mat. I'm gonna scoot this back a little bit for you so you can see me better. I'm gonna lay flat on, flat. I'm gonna lay on one side, flat on that side. I'm gonna raise with that top leg and I'm gonna bring that bottom leg up to meet it. Like there's no place like home. There's no place like home when you're not having to do this. I'm really trying to keep that top leg lifted and bring that bottom leg up to it and I feel it all through my obliques. That's the idea. The muffin top, the side. Because you have to work all of your abs, not just straight down the middle. All right, quick transition, right up. Cardio in between each helps you get your steps if you're wearing a step counter of any sort. And steps are steps. Doesn't matter how far forward you go during. Two, one, you guessed it, other side. Quick transitions. Get back down on that mat. Raise that top leg. Bring the bottom one up to tap it. There we go. Oh. It doesn't take too many before you really, really start to feel it all through your, your hips, your obliques, just under your ribs. But that means you know you are doing it, right? If it burns, this bottom arm, I'm really not pressing through it. I'm just using it as a stabilizer, putting very little pressure through it. It's a balancing act also. It's okay to roll backwards or roll forwards and look like a turtle. That's fine. That means you're working hard. Quick transition. Up, up, up. Woo! Oh, now my blood's flowing. Now I'm feeling really good. Problem for you is that means the more I talk. I hope you haven't been doing too many mountain climbers yet. Because guess what's next? That's right, breathe. Breathe. Alright, mountain climbers. I'm going to go off to the side here and show you. I'm going to get back in that good plank position. Bring one knee up towards my chin like I'm trying to knee myself. And I'm going to switch. The variation for this is taking your time with each one. Just keep moving. You can also do this in forearms, but that might be kind of hard. You might hit your knees on the ground. Try to keep that strong core pulled in. And driving those knees up towards your chest. Let your shoulder blades take that weight. Right, quick transition. Right up into that cardio. Woo. Next, we're getting right back down to the mat in a very similar position to that. I know, I know, I promise this will be all core, but my arms are burning. Don't worry, so am I. And that just means you're getting more of a full body workout. Good job, keep breathing. A few deep breaths. Good. We're getting right back down. I'm going to move my mat a little bit so I can show you this one. Plank position only with your feet spread apart. I'm going to reach forward with one hand and with that hand reach to the opposite foot. Try to touch my toes if you can. Good on you. Back to that plank position. Switch to the other side back. Once I plank that second hand I'm going to jump. Try to get my butt a kick or a donkey kick. Once you get it, keep moving quickly. Sticking that plank in between each and every move and breathe tap tap kick your butt tap tap kick your butt Woo! oh man just want to start getting into it get into that cardio again 
Now we're really, really going to focus on those arms, on those guns. It's going to be very upper body heavy. First exercise, I'm going to focus on the backs of those arms. And do tricep dips. Two, one, tricep dips. I'm going to use this chair to show you. Make sure you do this on a solid surface that won't flip over on you, that won't move on you. I'm going to put my hands on either side of my hips. I'm going to walk my feet forward, try and stay in a real good reverse plank, and I'm just going to focus my best on bending at the elbows and coming back up to that plank position, that reverse plank right there. Drop your butt, lift your butt. Try to become a Tetris piece, right down into that L. Hopefully you're much more flexible than I am, and this looks much prettier on you. All the weight should be lowered slowly, lifted slowly, same speed down, same speed up, all on the back of your arms. Cardio, quick switch. Next up, we're going to work our chest, our upper chest, tops of our shoulders a good bit, our deltoids a bit, and more of those triceps. We're doing monkey push-ups next. Keep pushing. This is almost over. Two, one. Back down in that plank position. If you do yoga, or have ever even seen someone do yoga, you know this move. Plank position, we're going to keep our feet wider apart. I'm going to try and lift my butt and do a down dog. There's my starting position. I'm going to lower my nose towards the ground and right back up. Woo! Sort of like an inverted push up. Trying your best to keep your back straight. Again, I'm sure you look much, much better doing this than I do. Down towards the ground. Make sure you do this on a surface that your hands won't slip or slide. No broken noses here. The variation is to go down dog, back to plank, and if you can do a push up there, do a push up there. In the meantime, get up, it's cardio time. Woo! Hopefully, that really started to burn your arms and your upper chest a good bit. Next, we'll get back down on the mat, but I want you to sit on your butts at first. Not yet. Keep going with your cardio. You know some people just tried to do that. Oh, cool, we said get on the mat. <laughs> All right, we're getting down now. Getting down now. I'm gonna turn this side just a smidge for you so you can see this. Start off on your butts. Hands plant next to your hips. Heels plant. Raise up in a tabletop position. And we're gonna do opposite hand to opposite foot. Try to touch your toes and switch. Crab, toe touch. Again, I pray you are much more flexible than I am. And try your best to keep <laughs> that tabletop position in between each move. Ooh, I'm starting to glisten. I'm starting to sweat a good bit. All right, quick transition. Back up into that cardio. Next, you're going to need that solid surface that we've been using again. And we're going to do some decline maneuver. I'll show you what I mean. Keep it up with the cardio. Come on. If you're doing high knees, get them up. Doing jumping jacks, keep going. Breathe. Quick transition here. I'm going to use this solid surface again. Get down on the side. I'm going to slowly and safely plant my toes here on that surface come back up into that plank position and just like the mountain climbers we're doing them ooh, decline only this is more focused on the hold and control you want to do these nice and slow and breathe try to control your breathing 
with each press. In, out. Woo! Quick transition, step down safely, and get into your cardio. Hopefully you didn't choose mountain climbers because your cardio because oh, I'd be burning right about now. And it wouldn't be a true high intensity workout if we didn't do at least one set of burpees. So why not? Let's do burpees next. Make sure you have plenty of space all around you, up above you. Burpees. We're going to drop down towards the ground, hands plant, jump them out, do a push up, jump them back in, look up to the ceiling, and jump as high as you can. Variation, squat down, step out, step out to the plank. If you can't do the push up, don't you worry. You can even do push ups from your knees. Right back up, stand and squeeze that glute. The advanced version, you get in as many as you stinking can. Keep breathing. Remember those planks when you jump out and in your push up. ringing in your ear. That's the end of that round. Hopefully you join us again for a few more rounds. Make sure you hydrate. Make sure you drink. Make sure you always consult a physician before beginning any new exercise routine. Make sure you're tip top for it and you don't hurt yourself. Oh yeah. Oh, you know you got a good workout with doing all these little raindrop beads on you. So, and you can do windshield wipers to your eyebrows. That's sexy. So thank you very, very, very much for joining us here at BenderFitness.com. Please, please let us know what you thought of the workout itself, not so much my commentary, and I hope you keep joining us. We have well over 700 free, enter the real cheesy free words shining everywhere, free workouts uh, on YouTube, on our, on our fitness blog, fitnessbender.com. Click like if you like the video, subscribe if you like. Hopefully this helps you in your fitness journey, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks again, everyone. Bye.